Hello, mathematicians. Welcome to another math class with me, Miss Taylor. I'm glad you're here. Let's see, do we have our fact practice packets? Do we have our textbook? Check, I got my textbook here. Workbook, paper, or whiteboard. Oh, get my whiteboard here. Okay, there we go. And my pencil, I might need a whiteboard marker. All right. And we might need our place value chart today. That would be a good idea to have our place value chart and our ones, tens, and hundreds pieces. That would be a good idea. So, already we are ready to start. So, for today, we are on our last page of our packet. So we're on page 16 and today is November 2nd, 11-2. And that means this is our final page in this packet. And then we're gonna start um, our new packet. So this one is packet number two. And then tomorrow we're gonna start on packet number three. So remember our goal with this is to finish it in one or two minutes maybe 30 seconds okay so go ahead and you can try your fact practice if you want to pause the video and do that now you could do that now you could do it after whatever you like all right so that is our fact practice for today and the next thing we are going to do is we're going to look at our textbook at page 47 and on page 47 we are going to learn about subtraction with renaming. So we've been working really hard at adding with renaming. When we have too many in the ones place or too many in the tens place, um, that we have to do some renaming. Well, subtraction is similar to that, except with subtraction, we have to rename when there are not enough. So with addition, we had to rename when there were too many with subtraction when there's not enough. So when there are not enough ones to subtract from, change 110 for 10 ones. So what we're gonna be doing here is kind of the opposite of what we were doing when we were adding. So for example, maybe let's take this one and let's quickly review how we did it if we were adding. So if we were adding 62 plus 43, and I know we're not, but just to, um, no, actually that wouldn't really work. What if I did 68, that would work. 68 plus 43, when we were adding, we had to rename when there was too many. So here, 8 plus 3, well, let's see, I know 8 plus 2 is 10, so 8 plus 3 is 11. So when we were adding, we had to rename when we had too many. So we can't have 11 in the ones place, so we had to rename it as 110 and 11. Remember doing that? And that is the same as that and this. So do we still have 11? This is 10 and 11. Yeah, so we still have it. We're just renaming it. We're just calling it something a little different. And then we can go ahead and add the tens place. Six plus four is 10 plus one more is 11. And 11 tens is actually the same as, and we could have done 100 and 110. So when we were adding, we had too many, too many in the ones place. Well, when we subtract, that is that means we have we don't have enough so like this one that they've given to us 62 minus 43. all right so we always start in the ones place we always start at the top just like usual but now if we only have two we only have two up here at the top can we subtract three from two? No, we can't, can we? Because if you only have two, the, the most that you can take away is two. So we can't take away three. But what we can do 
is we can rename one of our tens. So what we do here is we, we're kind of taking a 10 from over here and we're putting it over here. So we're crossing this off. This becomes a five and this becomes a 12. And then we're able to subtract. Now let's wait a second. We started with 62. Is 62 the same as five tens plus 12? Hmm. Well, let's see. Five tens. Five tens is the same as 50, isn't it? That's 50 and 12. And we know 12, 12 ones is the same as 12, right? So that would be like having 12 ones. I could kind of just pile up a bunch of ones here. 12 of them. Let's see. So if we had 12 ones and 5 tens, 50, 50 plus 12, is that the same as 62? Yes. So that is why we can rename to subtract. So if we do it this way, we are taking one of these tens and putting it over here. And this is, um, we used to call it borrowing. For some of you parents who might be watching, we used to call it carrying and borrowing. Well, renaming is kind of the same thing. We're just, we're just not changing anything. We're just giving it a different name. It's also called regrouping. So now we have our five tens, 12 ones. Now we can subtract in the ones place. So 12 minus 3, or we could think about 3 plus what gets us up to 12. And I know 3 plus 7 makes 10. And then 2 more. So this would be 9. And then I can move over to my tens place. 5 tens minus 4 tens is 1 ten. And that is our answer. Now, let's go ahead and look at how our textbook shows us. Just kind of another way to think about this. So again, this is the same problem we were looking at, 62 minus 43. And here is our kind of our step one. So 62 minus 43. Now we can't subtract in the ones place. If we have two, we can't take away three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename one of these tens as 10 ones. And they're telling us the same thing that we just talked about. Six tens and two ones, is the same, it's equal to five tens and 12 ones. So that's why we can cross off the five or the six and make it a five, and this, we can cross this off and make it a 12. Then we can do our subtracting. We can subtract the ones, and then we subtract the tens, and then we've got our answer. Now, I wanted to let you know there is another video that I'm gonna to link to this assignment, and it's by Khan Academy. And it does a really nice job of explaining this idea of renaming or regrouping. So I would really recommend that you also watch that video. It's going to make a lot of a lot more sense. They kind of explain it in a few different ways. So let's go ahead. I would like us to check out this problem on the next page. We'll just do a couple more together. Now we're going to go and we're going to subtract when we have a three digit number. So here we have 234 minus 18. And why don't we use our place value chart? All right, so what I'm gonna do, and it might be helpful when you're working on your homework today that you use your place value chart. Okay, so our equation here that we're working on, our problem. Actually, I'm going to write it up here. 243 minus 18. So, where can I put that? Maybe over here. See that? Nope. There we go. 243 minus 18. So let's go ahead and put 243 
on our place value chart. It's 200, 40, and four tens. Oops. Four tens, 243. Okay. So we've got 243, and we want to subtract 18. Now normally, we start in the ones place, don't we? And so we're going to start up here, 243. So three ones, and we're going to subtract 8. Oh, uh oh. I can't subtract 8 because I only have three. What we can do is we can rename one of our tens to be 10 ones. Remember one of these, one ten, is the same as 10 ones. And we kind of did this practice before where we pretended it was almost like we were doing a little magic, a little renaming magic. So we take our 10 ones, I need a couple more here. Let's see how many we have here. Do I have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, there's 10. So this is the same as this. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename one of these 10s to be 10 ones. Now, we haven't really changed anything. We're just renaming it. So what we're doing is we took one of these tens. Remember, we had four tens. Now we only have three of them. One, two, three. But then we put ten ones over here. And we already had three ones in there. So what that looks like, we brought a ten over here. So we have 13, because remember, we already had this three. So now, can I subtract 8 from 13? Well, let's see. So here's my, make sure I got my right number here. Okay, some of these are upside down, but. Okay, so there's our 13. Can we subtract 8 now? Yes. Um, and it's really important to think about before before we kind of do any of our subtracting, do we still have this number that we started with? Do we still have 243? Hmm. Did you say yes? Yeah, because we have 230 plus 13. So here on our board, we have 230 and 13. So this would be 230 plus 10 would be 240 plus 3, 243. Yeah, so we still have the same number. We're just renaming it. Now we can subtract 8. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we've subtracted eight. Take those away. Thirteen minus eight is five. Oops, I should draw my lines to separate. Circle my renaming. Taylor's forgetting her steps. Let's see, do we have five here? Yeah, there's our five. Three tens minus one ten is two tens. We're going to take away a ten. We subtracted a ten. And then two hundreds minus nothing. Two hundreds. We have our two hundreds. All right. So that is how we do our subtracting with renaming. Why don't we do one from our workbook page today? So 
let's go ahead. Your homework for today is pages 57 to 58. Yes, that's correct. Let's see, 57, here we go. Pages 57 and 58. Why don't we go ahead and just do one of these together, maybe a couple of these together. So this first one, we have 52 minus 37. Let's take a look. I'll zoom in here for us. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start in the ones place. I like to draw my little arrow here. Now, if I have two ones, can I take away seven? Hmm, if I have two, no. So if we have two on the top, we can't take away seven. So we have to do some renaming. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the tens place, and here we have five tens. But what we're going to do is rename one of those tens. There's five of them here. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these away. I'm going to cross it off, and I'm going to make it a four. Because I'm going to rename one of these, and I'm going to put ten ones over here. <laughs> we'll just go like that. So here, I took one ten from this side, and I'm putting it over here. So what that looks like now, it would be a ten, but we still have two. We already had two here, so we still have that two. So we're bringing ten over, and then we have this two, so this becomes a twelve. Now let's pause there. Do we still have fifty-two? Hmm. Well, now we have four tens, forty plus 12. Hmm, 40 plus 12. Let's see, 40 plus 10 is 50, plus two more is 52. Yes, so we still have 52. We're just giving it a different name. Now we're thinking of it as four tens, 12 ones. Okay, I'm going to let you finish that one because the renaming part is the tricky part. Let's look at one more together. Let's look at the one right next to it. Okay, so now we have four ones minus six ones, because we always start in the ones place. We always start at the top. If we have four, okay, there's my four ones. Can I subtract six? No, one, two, three, four. The most I could subtract is four. So this one, we can't do it. We have to go next door and get some more. So sometimes we say that um, when there is more on the top, no need to stop. When there's more on the floor, we can go next door and get some more. Okay, so let's go next door. Let's go over here. We have seven tens. We have seven of these tens. Whoops. And what I'm going to do is rename one of them. So I'm going to take one of these tens, and I'm going to scoot it over here to be ten ones. So I cross off my seven. This becomes a six. Now I only have six tens. And I can put the ten over here to become 14, because we have this four here. So ten plus four would be 14. Now, do we still have 74? Remember, this means 60, and this means 14. 60, 74. Yeah, we still have 74. We're just calling it 60 and 14, or 6 tens and 14. All right, so I'm going to let you go ahead and finish your computation. And please be really careful and thinking a lot about why we're crossing off one of these tens. Because we don't have enough in the ones place at the top. So we're going to do some renaming. All right. And when you get to page 58, we have a few word problems. So thank you for trying your best to do all of the steps that we have been working on to solve our word problems. So I am going to let you get to work. Remember one good strategy for 
word problems is doing our two lines so we know something should go in each spot. All right, I will let you get to it, but thank you for spending a little time with me and letting me show you about subtraction with renaming. So again, when we are adding, we do renaming when we have too many. There's too many ones in the ones place, but we subtract when there aren't enough. So we're kind of doing the opposite. All right, so have a wonderful rest of your day, scholars, and I will see you again soon. Bye.